Same thing we did with the isn't text layer. We're dragging this into the center. Just going to drag it in here now that it's on the canvas. Again, tile action safe. Really useful. Scrub forward just a little bit. Let it sit there. Fraction of a second. And we'll come up a little bit. Like right there. Again, this part's going to be really quick. Then we're going to pull this up on the y-axis. Like such. Isn't this... And then we're pretty much done with that. Now let's pull this up and we're going to go down to the stuff text layer. Go down to transform. Pretty much rinse, wash, and repeat. But uh, we're just animating all our text right now. So we're going to left click the stopwatch on position. And let's see. As soon as this is halfway up to keep the animation fluent, which is about there, I'm going to drag my keyframe back, starting keyframe for the animation of this text layer. Scrub forward a little bit. When does this stop? It stops right there. Set a keyframe, and I'm going to drag the position over to the left here. Again, I'm just going to drag, drag, drag. And there we go. Isn't this stuff? And then I'm going to move forward a little bit. Set a keyframe, and then move forward a little bit more. And this might be tight. This might be tight. We're going to pull it up. Isn't this stuff? Let's go ahead and see if we can just select the other layers and move these up. I just hold down control and left click. Isn't this stuff? And those are going to move up. Now let's check out our animation thus far, see if that works. Isn't. There we go. This. That's pretty cool, actually. Stuff. They keep moving up stuff and then yeah now let's do our text layer for cool cool man cool pull down here same thing animating the position now where's stuff go about halfway up and I'd say right about there so I'll move my keyframe back just a little bit same thing moving forward da 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 set another keyframe pull in and now that it's on the canvas, I'm just going to pull it in a little more accurately. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it actually about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down. And it's not going to come in at an angle because I'm going to go back to my original keyframe. And I'm going to zoom out here for a second. And I'm just going to move it back down until the line is straight. Because I don't want it to animate in at an angle. I want everything to be completely straight maybe a little bit up there we go so now that it comes on it should come on pretty straight yeah perfect all right isn't this stuff cool now let's get to editing our camera we're done with the fast text effect and uh let's just go to the null object and let's see we want to keyframe our position as well so let's go back to the beginning of the composition very starting frame here and edit the position of the null object. And let's scroll forward, scroll to the end of the animation, and the animation ends right about there, which is when I want the camera to pull back out, so I'm going to set another keyframe at the end. And I'm actually going to start zooming out once the cool comes on, so I'm going to set a keyframe there, and that way it's going to go from there, and then it's going to pull out to this keyframe where it's going to be complete. You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's go here, and let's just zoom in a little bit. Selecting the Z, zooming in. Let's scroll forward and see if that's a good amount of zoom. Uh, not so much. Zoom in a little more. Like there. Yeah, and I'll just delete my old keyframe now that I have a good zoom value. Move this on back. And now I should already be zoomed in, which I am. Isn't starts zooming out this stuff and cool alright good stuff bam alright now let's get to starting or let's get started on our particles so I'm gonna unhide the particles layer down here just gonna unhide it and let's go to effect trap code form 
right on right on now we're gonna go to base form and we're gonna set the particles in Z to 1 particles in X that means one single form here we're not gonna have three planes just one plane and we're gonna set the size X to 2000 size Y to 2000 and particles in X let's set that to about 200 particles in X and 200 particles in Y and let's say zero particles in Z actually one particle in Z and um, yeah we're gonna rotate this just a little bit um, I think the value was 285 yeah you can see if I move this value now we're actually rotating the plane which is pretty cool that's actually pretty awesome but I'm gonna go back to 285 I do want that slant like such and the next one we're gonna do is go to a quick maps and this is done because I don't want that hard edge at the end I kinda want it to fade out so trap code form has this quick maps segment and I'm gonna go to map one pull down map one just pull this out here so you can see it and I'm gonna select the default mountain like one here so it's towards the edges it's gonna be completely opaque and like such the best way to do it is just to show you map to opacity not fractal strength you can toy with those if you'd like we're gonna be messing with the opacity because we want it to fade out and we want it to fade out along the Y axis very nice so there's that hard edge is now gone um, I'm gonna turn off my tile action safe I don't think that's necessary anymore and I'm also gonna hide my null object alright so we're gonna pull up the quick maps and the next thing we want to do is mess with our disperse and twist and we're gonna set the twist to a value of 1 and by default we're gonna set the disperse to 5 seems pretty cool and what we're gonna be doing is applying some expressions to the disperse here so I'm just gonna pull this up but we're gonna be doing it to our audio file so I imported this narvis.wave it can be any audio file you want completely up to you but um, I know this epic song doesn't really go along with the scheme here, but such is life in the tropics. Anyway, I'm going to select it. Really simple. Go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, and Convert Audio to Keyframes. And that creates a null object with all the keyframe values. I'll pull it down so you can see. It creates one for the left, right, and both channels. So I'm going to control click the left and right channels and hit Delete just to get rid of them. Pull down my both channels, and I have my slider. And Believe it or not, we're pretty much almost done. The next part is really simple. I'm just going to select my particles layer, pull down the effects, form, and we want to modify under the disperse and twist. Like I said, we're going to be modifying the disperse field. You'll see if I up the value manually here, lots of particle dispersion. But by default, I want it to be 5. So I'm just going to alt left click on the disperse field. And I'm going to delete what it creates for me there. And then I'm going to grab this pick whip tool and I'm going to pick whip all the way up here if it slides up to the slider of the audio amplitude this was our null object with the audio keyframe values on them and that's it pretty much I mean you could use that by default I'm going to set a semicolon here but I'm going to create it and I'm going to set the value of those audio levels to X so X equals and here's our pick whipped value and really I mean you could go with this but there's not much dispersion so I really want to up this a little bit so I'm gonna multiply at the end here I'm gonna say space times space 10 that's the asterisk symbol by the way on your keyboard and that'll take this value of our audio keyframes and multiply it amplify it by 10 so now we get lots more crazy dispersion that goes along to our audio levels this stuff cool alright guys so with that we're finished with the effect pretty much um I'm gonna go ahead and hide this audio amplitude layer as well it's just another null object but um really I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I also hope you find the ideas and concepts that we used in this lesson useful for your future projects with that guys my name is Graham with tutorial clarity as always take care <laughs>